Southampton study. There have been worries about the toxicity of some azo dyes for at least 50 years, and many are no longer approved for use in foods in Europe, or are subject to new acceptable daily intakes, or ADIs. As recently as 2007, the EU suspended the use of red dye 2G in response to its breakdown of uh, to aniline, which is a known carcinogen. The European Food Safety Authority, or EFSA, is currently reviewing the safety of all European food additives. And as a matter of priority, they were asked by the European Commission to review first the Southampton six colors, and then followed by the other colors and other food additives. EFSA has advised the Commission and Parliament to reduce the acceptable daily intakes for three of the colors in question uh, of the Southampton six. The quinoline yellow, the sunset yellow, and ponso for R. Although EFSA concluded that the Southampton study did not substantiate a causal link between the hyperactivity and six colors, um, they, there are still consumer concerns over this relationship. The UK Food Standards Agency, or FSA, which funded the Southampton study, still decided that the findings were sufficiently worrying for it to call for a voluntary ban on the use of the Southampton six colors in UK food and drink industry. In 2008, the European Parliament reacted to the findings of the Southampton study by adding to a provision of uh, new food additive regulations, which came into force in 2010, the requirement that the synthetic colors in question here, represented here, be identified by the name or the E number, followed by the phrase, may have an adverse effect on activity and attention in children. Uh, at the same time, it should be noted that many in the color industry find the results of the Southampton study to be inconclusive, and an FDA panel recently voted against warning labels for synthetic colors in the USA. However, the panel did call for more studies to determine if there is a link between hyperactivity and these colors. Uh, while not um, an outright ban on the use of these colors or requiring labeling in all these regions, it has certainly encouraged manufacturers to consider replacing these colors, not only in Europe, but in the United States and other countries as well.